Hello everyone. Hello. Welcome to our video about fall harvest in Kansas, or really just fall in Kansas. Uh, you can see the sunset there, it's really nice, overlooking the uh, Smoky Valley, which is located between, what, Lindsborg and Assaria, Kansas. We like our sunsets. Yep. So there's always a lot of things happening in the fall uh, on the farm, and here we are uh, drilling wheat. Um, so we uh, drill the wheat in time for it to come up in the fall, and then it uh, goes dormant over winter, and then of course we'll uh, come back in the spring and, and uh, give us wheat harvest. So um, yeah, and this is winter wheat. There's some there's different different areas of the of the world they plant, you know spring wheat and wheat yeah that grows in the summer but we do winter wheat and the and it's a uh, hard red hard red winter wheat and uh this year we had um kind of a a wet spell and then and then uh, all the drilling kind of came at the same time as the soybeans being ready and really the milo being ready too so we were doing we had to keep the drill running while also trying to get the the combines going too yeah, and so in all these videos, you'll just see kind of one thing in the field at a time. That's because we were all spread out doing everything at once. So we, we never had two combines in the field. But uh, this is a really cool shot of harvesting soybeans. This is our best soybean field by far. Um, and this is the field that uh, in the spring, we one of our first drone videos was drilling soybeans, and it was this field. And uh, here we got to uh, cut them, and, and uh, they were under a pivot and, and did well, so they were fun to cut. Yeah, so if you want to go and watch that, that first video, it, it'll probably be, well, it'll be on our channel, and then it'll probably be in the related videos, I'm guessing. But yeah, you can see there the beans were really, really tall, really nice. And um, yeah, doing the solid stand or whatever, it seemed to work out pretty well yeah I liked drilling the beans I think I waved at the camera again just like I did when I was in the tractor hey at least you're consistent yeah by the way Kendall's not here he's at college we do voiceovers without him now yeah he's, he's been he's busy learning things and stuff he's been uh released from his duty as a Peterson farm bro voice over or he's like a backup now yeah we just can call him when we need him so there's our two uh semi trucks you've already seen them in in other videos this is kind of yes, a cool shot i was pretty proud of this shot wow such skill it really was you can kind of Really? Oh, till that one joke there we go nice we need to come up with more stuff to talk about what well else, what else do they want to know I don't know there's me you can see me standing there running the drone I was being so productive you were about to take the full yeah. semi to the elevator yeah I was I remember thinking like I should probably go but I want to film so I filmed you can see we have the corner planted to milo instead of soybeans. That's because Kansas is known to be dry and sometimes like the the irrigation pivot doesn't reach that corner and so milo is better for like drought tolerance. So that's why we put the corner to milo, but this year it rained enough. We could have done the whole field soybeans, but you never yeah. know in the spring, so it was one of our best soybean years we've ever had. But here, here we are uh, harvesting the Milo. So this is our other combine, the the seventy seven twenty, and we actually bought a a row head for it uh, this year because a lot of the uh, a lot of our Milo kind of fell down. So um, we thought that that would be a good investment. Yeah. So it was actually kind of a 
more frustrating year for the Milo because it uh, got lots of rain and put on good heads, but then we had um, really bad uh, sugarcane aphids come in, which um, they they hadn't been this bad in our area yet until this year and yeah and those are bugs by the way for those of you yeah they're know. bugs and and they kind of stress the plant so bad that it a lot of it fell over and so that's kind of a a new problem yeah, showing up it. in, you can in kansas see it right at there. least yeah you can see it falling down and so there there's lots of talk on how to uh how to minimize that problem farmers are always faced with new problems and and uh fighting old problems too but the row the row head helps kind of pick it up off the ground kind of cuts down lower a little better so dad dad ran that combine almost all fall harvest picking all that milo up and then nathan and i kind of rotated back between the beans and planting wheat but that's pretty much what our fall harvest typically looks like um is there anything else we we're doing ever? Well, there's some uh, silage, like the double crop uh, cane silage harvest yeah. is during the fall, but that usually just takes a couple days. And you guys, days. you guys have, you guys can watch our corn silage video. It it's that cane silage is pretty much the same as corn silage. And then a lot of farmers in our area, you know, they pick corn. And they have other crops like sunflowers and uh, um, there's some sunflowers. Some sunflowers. Not a ton. But not a ton, but so yeah, we primarily just do milo and soybeans and and plant wheat. So it's a it's a it's a good time of year. It's um it's not quite as hectic as wheat harvest, but it's still very important to get things done when you can um, while before it rains or or gets wet or cloudy. So um it's fun to get the harvest in and and look forward to the next year too yeah well thanks for watching yep see ya, see ya.